Welcome to Altium Designer 17 Advanced PCB Course Module on Rigid Flex PCB Design. This module will cover the setup of a Flex Rigid board and is the follow on to the Multi Layer Module. Flex Rigid PCBs come in many types. The first three types, types 1, 2, and 3, are flex only, having single, double, and many conductive layers respectively, all of these on a flexible core. Flex rigid PCBs, called type 4, have both rigid and flexible sections of the PCB. We will focus on the type 4 PCB in this module. Looking at the layer stack up for a typical flex rigid PCB, we can see a number of important features. There is at least one defined rigid stack up along with the defined flexible stack. The two layers are contiguous between the rigid and flex stack ups, providing the electrical connectivity and physical integrity for the board. The same features are seen in the Bluetooth Sentinel example. Start with a proper flex rigid stack up, and then you want to define the board shape. Given the stack up we created in the last module, let's use that and create a PCB with rigid and flexible sections. While there are a number of stack ups for this PCB, placing a layer stack table should show the various layers. Click on the Place pull down menu and pick Layer Stack Table. We can now place this next to the PCB to provide the documentation of the various layers. Hitting tab before we place it, we can change the size and enable or disable the drawing of the board map. The board map shows which stack up is in each region of the PCB. With no regions defined, we only see the default stack up showing. Let's go ahead and delete the layer stack table for now. Once the board shape is finished, the next step is to create the regions on the PCB prior to assigning to the regions their associated layer stackups. Using grids to aid our board creation is a useful tool, and currently our grid is set to 200 mils. Starting with the PCB shape, we need to add split lines to define the regions on the PCB. To add a split line, first go into board planning mode by hitting the 1 key. Now using the design pull-down menu, select Define Split Line. This will change the mouse pointer to a large crosshair, and using that, click near but not outside the edge of the PCB where you want to place the starting point of the split line. As you move towards the other side of the PCB, you will notice that the other end of the line by default is showing. Click on the other edge where you want to place it. We will add two more split lines, in effect creating four regions. These lines can be adjusted at this point by clicking on the region and selecting the endpoints to drag. We added one more split line than we needed to illustrate deleting a split line. Using the design pull down menu, we select delete split line option and then click on the extra line. Now that we have three PCB regions defined, we will assign each region to one of the defined stackups. Double click on a region to open up the board region properties window. Select one of the stackups. We will use the board layer stack. This is a rigid stackup with all the layers defined. Name this region Main Board, and as it has the full board stack up, we will 3D lock it so it will not move when we use the folding feature in 3D view. Double click on the middle region and select the Flex stack up. Let's name it Flex Mid and click OK. Notice by default that a Flex defined region will have a bend radius line automatically added. We will assign the Rigid 2 stack up to the third region and call it Display. Now with the regions assigned to stack ups, we can place the layer stack table for this particular PCB to document the stack assignments for each region. Placing the layer stack table, you can now see the board map for the, showing the different regions. Opening up the PCB panel, let's select the layer stack regions from the panel pull down. We can edit the bend radius angle and the radius by selecting the flex named layer stack. Now we see in the bending line section of the PCB panel the bending lines, and below that the fold state. Jumping into 3D mode, we can change the fold state to see the effect of the bend radius line that was added. Going back into the board planning mode, let's increase the radius and angle from the default numbers to see the effect. We do this by double clicking on the entry to open the bending line properties window for editing. Now that we've changed it, hit OK. You can see the results of the edits shown in the flex region. Notice the change in the highlighted section around the bend radius. Going into 3D mode, we can adjust the fold state to show the effect of our changes. Let's go back into the board planning mode and add another bend radius. 
We'll do that by using the Design pull-down menu and select Define Bending Line. Let's place it as such. Now you will see a second entry in the PCB Panel Bending Line section. Double-click on that new entry to edit it. Now in 3D, we can change the fold state to watch the double fold lines in operation. Note they are simultaneously bending. We can provide the order of bending using the sequence numbers, so let's go back into board planning mode. The sequence numbers on the right hand side, 0 being the first, and then 1 and 2, etc., following on. Let's make the second bending line sequence equal to 1. Again, double clicking on it to open up its properties window and adding the 1 instead of the 0 to the sequence number. Now going to 3D, we can see the effect of sequencing. First one bend and then the next. One more tricky thing, removal of a bending line. Currently the only way to remove it, aside from using Control z to undo the placement, is to move the vertices of a rigid section so that the bend line is lost in a rigid region. When this happens, the tool will remove the bend line with a warning. If that is not possible, simply set the radius and angle values for the one that you want to disappear to zero. This completes the instruction on creating rigid and flex PCBs, where we assign different stackups to defined PCB regions. We also added and edited the bend radius features for the flexible regions. Please do the rigid flex design exercise.